Over the past decade, one of the biggest communities on YouTube has been gaming, with there being thousands of different channels dedicated to the popular pastime, and one of the biggest of these YouTubers goes by the name of JonTron. Since the start of YouTube, one of the biggest genres of content has been gaming, and that has continued to be true to this very day. Many believe this to be the case for one major reason, which is that gamers have been underrepresented for shows on traditional television. So when online video grew in popularity, so did gamers who were eager to finally watch programming made for them. While at the beginning this gaming content was very amateur, many channels started to shine through including the Angry Video Game Nerd, who stumbled upon a new category of video, the Angry Review. These shows consisted of someone purposely playing a bad game just to make jokes about how terrible it was. After James Rolfe created the Angry Video Game Nerd, many other shows popped up including the Irate Gamer and most notably Nostalgia Critic, who took the concept and used it to make fun of terrible movies from his childhood. Even with this competition, James was still the most popular of these channels, since he was really the one that started it all. But many years down the line, there would finally be another YouTuber who could give the nerd a run for his money. Back in the early days of YouTube, John Jafari made a channel where he produced small skits including the Tales of Super John, in which he told stories in front of a low quality camera. Even though these videos didn't stick around for long, they were still John's origin on YouTube. I remember being on campus one day and uh, asking a man who looked quite homosexual a question. I asked him, do you like men? His response rather shocked me. He replied, uh, are you fat? Yes. <laughs> uh, so I gouged out his eyes and mailed them to his parents. It wasn't until August 31st of 2010 when JonTron was introduced to the world with his review of Daikatana, where he angrily plays through the game while giving his thoughts and cracking jokes. These early episodes really showed how much of an influence the angry video game nerd had on him. As time went on though, John kept on trying new things, while at one point focusing on top 10 lists more than reviews. A few short months after starting, John decided to create a website to host his videos early with another rising YouTube star named Peanut Butter Gamer. This website was named Normal Boots and over time would bring in other large channels such as Did You Know Gaming, The Completionist, and Pro Jared. Even though JonTron had been growing at a decent pace, it wasn't until February of 2011 when things really changed, with the release of his review of Dino City for the Super Nintendo. This video has been known as the turning point when John's reviews really became his own, and people took notice with it making the front page of Reddit with a post entitled, After watching this, video game reviews really aren't the same anymore. After Dino City, John honed in his style of videos that quickly grew him to be one of the most beloved figures in the YouTube gaming community, but little did people know his YouTube career was going to eventually take a new unexpected turn. With the continued success of the channel, JonTron in 2012 decided to branch out to a new venture called Game Grumps, a collaborative effort with him and the popular YouTube animator Egoraptor. Their new channel had both of them playing video games while giving their commentary. What made their new collab channel different from most other Let's Plays though was that instead of just sitting in a room by themselves playing a game, John and Aaron were able to work off each other for highly entertaining playthroughs. The other thing that was great about Game Grumps was that unlike comedic reviews or animation, they were able to produce episodes very quickly, with the channel having daily uploads. All of this led to their new YouTube series becoming a massive hit. While the consequences of John's new channel weren't immediate, after a while people started to notice that the span in between reviews became longer and longer. Since the new channel had become so successful, it seemed as if JonTron reviews suffered, since less time was being spent on them leading to only three reviews being made in a one year span. Even though Game Grumps appeared to be doing well, after a year of making Let's Plays, in 2013 the channel abruptly uploaded a video telling subscribers that John was leaving the show for good. His segment wasn't even recorded with Aaron, but rather off location. Since this exit from the show was so abrupt, rumors start to fly across YouTube, Reddit, and 4chan about what happened. Many started to spread stories about how John and Aaron had a falling out, with many becoming internet detectives to try to figure out what exactly took place between the Game Grumps crew. 
After his departure, John moved across the country to New York where he could finally get back to work on JonTron. But the most amazing part is that, unlike other YouTubers that neglected their channel for long spans of time, when John returned he was stronger than ever, with each review getting millions of views. Eventually, after years of hard work, JonTron passed out the angry video game nerd subscriber-wise, with his channel now having over 2 million followers. What started off as a small show inspired by the nerd persona had formed into its own creation that became bigger than the original. Even though things were going well, many still wondered what happened at Game Grumps and if John was still friends with Ego Raptor. But during the finale of John's Starcade miniseries, it was revealed that Aaron was playing Darth Vader all along, with it being clear to all the fans that they were on good terms. Regardless of if you know him from Game Grumps or his very own channel, John has become one of the most recognizable faces in the gaming community. So JonTron, welcome to my Internet Hall of Fame. Whether that's a good or bad thing is completely up to you.